Hey everyone, Rarity Dash here. Time for another My Little Pony Friendship of Magic Season 8 Blind Reaction. And today we'll be looking at episode 19 of Season 8, titled On the Road to Friendship. So with that title, I imagine that the on the road part is going to be what's important here. I think it's going to be like some kind of road trip episode. Uh, I mean, it could be a bit more figurative. It could be just two ponies who aren't quite friends yet, sort of getting there, being on the road to achieving friendship. But uh, yeah, I'm actually leaning more towards this being more in the literal sense, just because I, th I, I think that would make the title a bit more fun. So, uh, and that just feels more like something they would do. Uh, <laughs> but I don't know. I do know who the writer is, though, and it's Josh Haber, and uh, that's usually a pretty good sign. He's a solid writer and usually turns out pretty fun episodes. And hopefully this will be one of them. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of interesting. We had a sort of a break, uh, at least for me, because I had already seen episode 18. I watched it when it was first aired on Discovery Family. Uh, which, if you're wondering about that video, it's kind of in a limbo state right now. There's no way to actually watch it right now. Uh, that's because uh, it was blocked. Uh, well, it was blocked when I first uploaded it after it first aired. Uh, and then I got it unblocked the same way I always do with a dispute, but then it was blocked again, uh, and I don't know why that is. I think it has something to do with it being aired early and the whole weird situation there, uh, but it was blocked again, and when that happens, there's no way to dispute it again. You have to appeal, and there's a bit more risk when you do that, so uh, so yeah, I basically have to re-upload it, which I did do. I re-uploaded it like, uh, I think Wednesday. It was sometime during the middle of the week. I would have done it earlier, but I forgot entirely that the video was blocked. Uh, and people didn't really start uh, reminding me until that Wednesday. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, uh, they still, I, I disputed the block on the re-upload because it was blocked again when I re-uploaded it. Uh, but they haven't gotten back to me on that yet. So, I don't know. It's kind of taking a bit longer than it usually does. So, I don't really know what's going to happen. But hopefully that video will be watchable again soon. Uh, but, uh... But yeah, uh, that wasn't actually the last episode I watched. The last one I watched was two weeks ago, and that was that amazing Rare Dash episode. I, uh... <laughs> so that was the last new episode of MLP that I watched, and uh, I'm interested to see how this one follows up on that. Uh, I mean, it's obviously not going to be <laughs> quite the same, but hopefully it'll still be not too much of a letdown. Uh, I mean, uh, if, if, if I had seen episode 18 after episode 17... That probably would have been kind of a letdown, but uh, luckily I'd already seen that one, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully this one's good. Uh, but yeah, let's find out. Here we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we got Starlight and obviously Trixie. This is a good sign. Oh, Cadence of Flurry came to watch. Definitely became uh, more of a showman here. <laughs> nice. I don't know. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I love seeing Starlight get into the act. Nice. Oh, yes. Trixie, that was an amazing show. Flurry Heart and I loved it. Aww. I'm so glad we decided to come. You two have a real chemistry. Yes, we've all been saying it. Does require a great <laughs> and powerful Lots of chemistry. The way you two That's what together, it's all about. It's like you've known each other as long as Twilight and I have. It was pretty fun. Of oh. course it was. I saw those eyes, Trixie. There's better than a bond with another pony. You can oh. share all kinds of All the bonds. Sunshine, sunshine, <laughs> Clap your hooves and do a little shake. <laughs> I think we'll stick to the stage magic for now. The great and powerful Trixie doesn't chant. Okay, well this is very promising. I, it looks like we're going straight from best ship into second best ship. I'm excited. <laughs> Magic makes it all complete. Very best friends. 
All right. Star Trek's time. I love my one pony show. It's always nice to come to Ponyville and perform with my great and powerful assistant. Kate is right. We do work well together. Doing a show with you is almost as much fun as counseling students at Twilight School. Which I'm supposed to be doing right now. See you later. Oh. Poor Trixie. Excuse me, Miss Powerful. Oh. oh, who's this guy? I noticed him before. Very weird design. Okay, that makes sense. Would you consider blessing my homeland with it? I was just about to set out on tour. But Saddle Arabia is much farther than my usual route. I would think so. <laughs> and uh, my caravan might not be suited for an extended tour. <laughs> Mine is new and quite spacious. If it would help us yeah, with that's I that's pretty impressive. Trade it for yours. Trade oh. it? Heavens no! This is more than just some great and powerful wagon you see before you. It is shelter. It is transportation. <laughs> it is my only friend in the long and lonely nights on the road. Very well. Then I must see as many of your performances as I can. If I cannot convince you to bring your tour to Saddle Arabia, I must be prepared to relate its magnificence to your many fans there. Many fans, you say? Oh. <laughs> well, got her I attention. I could consider the trip. Wonderful! I look forward to seeing you on the road. And if you change your mind about the caravans, my offer remains open. Hmm. Hmm. It's just so far away. Of course, I love visiting new and exciting places. I am a traveling <laughs> magician, after all. <laughs> what are you doing, yeah, Trixie? Sounds like your mind's made up. Not quite. The road is a lonely place. Oh. And this trip even yeah, you need some starlight. I was hoping I might convince my great and powerful assistant to come along. The really? <laughs> This was adorable. And my counselor. You're also my friend. And what's better than a friend. road trip with friends? Nothing. This will be the best magical road trip ever. Yeah. Uh, oh. Get some pony of course, Cozy Glow. <laughs> she, she needs more counseling. Always. Trixie, are you all right? One caravan oh. for two, all set. Oh, you brought luggage. <laughs> I mean, of course you brought luggage. You bet I did. Everything two ponies need for the road trip of their lives. Three 1,000 piece puzzles, one yeah. copy of Dragon Pit, and the best board game in the history of ponies, <laughs> a famous collection of campfire spices, and an inflatable raft. Did I forget something? I can pop back to the castle and grab it. Oh no, it isn't that. Yeah, maybe we don't need the raft. Yeah. Pretty cramped. We just needed a little great and powerful reorganization. Now everything fits just <laughs> fine. Oh, who am I kidding? My wagon is too small for us. I understand if you're having second thoughts. Second thoughts? Are you kidding? This wagon isn't small. I love how on board she is for this. And there's no such cozy. thing as too cozy. Well, there is cozy glow. Well, right then. I guess it's time she scares me. Could always uh, just use one big cot. That would work. <laughs> okay, maybe there is such a thing as or two cozy. Hammock or whatever it is. You're sure you wouldn't rather ride? <laughs> and you're not backing out. I get the feeling that she's gonna go for that other caravan by the end. There's plenty of high quality inns to stay at on the way. Don't worry about it. I'm not backing out of the greatest and most powerful road trip bonding experience Very powerful. could ever have. Well, when you put it like that, I'm actually kind of excited. Me too. <sighs> Thank goodness we're not like Twilight or the others. They probably sing a song about it. Come on, come on. Yes! <laughs> This I want. This I need. We're off. On a road to we have officially achieved Star Trek song. Ride, 
<laughs> this is the best. Who, who's, uh, um, I have questions. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess they brought the raft after all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh god, they're just so into each other. Uh, this is just adorable. Uh, <laughs> well, you two need to get together. Take the example of these two. Very specific uh, <laughs> similes. The marketplace, perfect. I've learned the hard way that life on the road requires very specific supplies, and we only have so many bits, so we'll have to spend them wise. Oh. <sighs> Sorry about wasting bits on street food. Oh, it's fine. Falafel bonding, right? <laughs> Besides, we still have enough for. Hey, cakes and juice. Oh. Um, why don't we go there? Oh, no, no, no. I always buy my hay cakes here. So, we're just going to wait in line for hours? And, uh, <gasps> okay. Totally cool. Don't fight too much. In line bonding, right? Well, that can be fun, too. I mean, we saw After that with the Rare Dash headlock. episode. Oh, the moon! We weren't able to get everything on my list, but we are definitely set for breakfast. And I'm sure we'll find out that waiting in that super long line was worth it. A few hiccups always happen. We'll be back on the road to friendship after a And... Roll full. Of course. Uh, I'm sure we'll find something. No. Nope. Sorry. Wow. Oh. Ah, the glow and here's this guy. Is no doubt filled to the brim. Luckily. Travelers such as ourselves have our caravans. <laughs> you said there'd be plenty of places to stay. Don't even worry about it, you said. You might have thought to make a reservation. Aww. Um, I've been with you singing and standing in line. When would I have done that? I don't know, but I'm starting to think you aren't as great and powerful an assistant as I thought. Come on, Trixie. So you just brought me along to do your legwork? <sighs> no, of course not. I'm sorry. Aww. I'm just frustrated. I was really looking forward to a relaxing night in a nice room. Oh, me too. But since there's literally no room at the inns, I guess it's lucky we've got the wagon. Huh. Sleeping in tight quarters bonding. Yay. <laughs> oh. oh. Is oh. there something I can do to make things more comfortable for you? You could get rid of this junk. Wow. Yes. Well, before we throw away the magical items it's taken me years to collect, we could try switching hammocks. Fine. Okay. No. <laughs> no, I don't think there is. I think Starlight. Yeah. Starlight. Uh, what? I'm sorry. Your snoring is a bit um loud. <laughs> yeah, I do that. I had my village convinced <laughs> of being attacked by bears every night. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. Uh, but we probably need a better solution. Trixie is not amused. Wow. 
Okay, and now we have sleep talk. How long before they take this guy's Is offer? Following us for the whole time? I think so. I do not know. <laughs> She's been in there a long time. Do you hmm. suppose the terrible oh, wow. drunk escape? Yeah, this isn't. All the juice and talks nonstop in her sleep. What if the great and powerful Trixie can't sleep because her roommate snores like an Ursa <sighs> man? But if you're there, <laughs> oh God. There's not much room in here. At least you don't have to sleep in it with another party. Wow. This show is much better in Ponyville. Oh, <laughs> would you like the last carrot? I know how fond you are of eating the last of things. Oh no, it might make me thirsty, and we don't have anything to drink, so... The good news is, I'm so exhausted I could sleep through a stampede of wild boars, which you'll be delighted to know is only slightly louder than your snoring. Uh -huh. I'm looking forward to rehearsing the act with you all night. So diligent of you to go over it and over it in your sleep. Practice makes perfect. Mm -hmm. Not today, it didn't. <laughs> well, I'm sorry you're so miserable. Really? Because if you wanted to make things more comfortable, you could always bear down a bit. Oh. Well, since you're so concerned about space, you can have it all. Oh. Don't sleep under the stars where at least the wild animals will be quieter than you. Aww. I do not mean to interrupt, but it seems there is trouble on the road to friendship. <laughs> you think? Nice title drop. Oh. Well, that's uh <laughs> Aww. Traded it to that pony from Saddle Arabia for his. Oh. He even threw in a pair of robes. Yeah. Oh. You what? I traded the old. Yeah, that's probably not your decision to make, Starlight. For this nice, new, spacious one that we can both enjoy. <laughs> Who said you could do that? No pony. I just did it. Oh. She clearly had a lot of attachment. I, uh... Aww. Au contraire. I did give something away. I gave away my wagon and my best friend. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were better friends with that beat up old wagon than you are with me. Well, it's easy when the wagon oh. is a better friend. Wow. Never you Come away. on, you two. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Make up. Oh, it is ridiculous. In fact, this whole tour is ridiculous. I don't even know why I invited you in the first place. Oh, well, maybe I should just head home. I think that's a very good idea. And you can take this horrible giant caravan with you. Fine. Good. Oh. Oh. <sighs> How are we going to resolve this? Miss Powerful. Miss Powerful? <laughs> I had hoped providing you with a more comfortable means of conveyance would allow you to once more dazzle the crowds with mystifying feats of magic. Normally, that sort of flattery would suffice. But today, hmm. we must discuss your dishonest and unfair procurement of my wagon. 
I desired your wagon and provided one of equal or better value in return. It seems like a perfectly honest and fair trade to me. Unfortunately, it is more nuanced than that. Okay. I'm sure it is, but I'm waiting for her to explain this. Out, if you'll excuse like. Oh. I am willing to wait as long as you are. We'll just see about that. <laughs> explain why it's so important to you, Trixie. Wow. You know, even if I was willing to reverse the trade, you don't have my caravan to offer in return. Oh, details! Oh. Yeah! <sighs> Come on, Starlight. Head back. Oh. <laughs> okay, well. That's what the song does. The power of ship song. Hey, it's one of those traveling ponies. Your song really inspired us. Okay, well that's good. To head off on the road to friendship too. It sure beats the road to deliveries. They're both really cute. Traveling together is hard. You reminded us you can also make it fun. Thanks again. Yeah, yeah. Steaming hot beverage. Thank you. No. There we go. What are you two doing? Taking a stand by lying down. Not that you care, wow. wagon trader aware. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm still not interested, despite your assistance, convenient appearance. Trixie, I came back to apologize. I should never have traded away the wagon. It wasn't mine to trade. Yeah. It belongs to my friend. Hmm. If you truly were friends, I suppose I'd be on a bound to reverse the trade. Okay, fine. We're friends. Best friends who share a deep bond are prepared for the emotional challenges of traveling. Happy? I'm still unconvinced. Wow. Perhaps you could prove your friendship. How? Oh. No, we could do our friendship chance. I know some ways. Oh. Chant of friendship that we do all the time because we're psychic. <laughs> Let's do this. Come on. Magic magic Very convincing. Friendship chat, <laughs> and you two were clearly making it up as you went. But only true friends would be willing to act so ridiculous for one another. Okay, I'll get back the wagon. Though I'd suggest heading back to Ponyville. I'm not sure Saddle Arabia is ready for uh, this. That's fair. Hmm. Well, that's kind of a shame. <laughs> tour was ruined. Honestly, I don't think I could have stood one more second on the road. At a certain point, I don't even like traveling with myself. Well. It is a lot harder than I thought. Still, I'm glad we tried. Mostly so we know not to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's made our friendship greater and more powerful than ever. Um, oh. you know, there's actually plenty of room. Is the show over? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's great. Uh... Well, there we go, <laughs> and that was a lot of fun. Uh, I uh, 
Yeah, I, I really enjoyed that. Especially the first half. I mean, just with them getting along. Uh, they're arguing. I don't know. Honestly, I think Raradash, the arguing there, uh, it was more fun to me. This was a little harder. A little harder on me for some reason. I don't know why. I just... <laughs> these two. I, I like it when they get along. And uh, obviously they repaired things by the end. But uh, <laughs> it's a shame. It's a shame it didn't work out. Uh, but, uh, I mean, yeah, we got <laughs> we got the Star Trek song. We got an anthem for the ship. And uh, we got uh, <laughs> just so much... So much great, just adorable uh, just moments with them in there. And, uh, I mean, I do kind of wish that Trixie would actually just sort of articulate why her, uh, why her caravan is so important to her. Because uh, clearly there is this advanced level of attachment, like beyond it just being, uh, it just being hers. She has a reason that it really matters to her. And I think it would have probably benefited the episode if she actually just sort of explained that. Because it's not really clear why she favors it over the better one. That, uh, I, I just, I think that probably needed to be rationalized a little bit. Uh, though, I don't know. Uh, and, uh... Yeah, obviously Starlight was in the wrong there, kind of. It's not hers to trade away. That was exactly right. And, uh... Yeah, uh... I like that we kind of finally went back to the idea of Saddle Arabia. That's something that was introduced and that we never, ever went back there. Uh, and now we have. And it, and it was... Uh, it's interesting because that was a uh, Trixie episode where it was first mentioned. So, uh... And uh, she even did a bit of performance for them at the end of that episode. That, so there's actually kind of maybe a sense of continuity there that uh, she might have... I don't know if they were aware that it was Trixie doing that. So maybe not. Maybe this is just sort of coincidence. But, uh, but yeah, still kind of neat that this is when we get back to it. Uh, and yeah, just love this episode just for being one squarely focused on Starlight and Trixie. And, uh, for being really cute and, uh, just <laughs> love those two and that song. I mean, I don't know if it was really a great song, but just the novelty of having a song with Starlight and Trixie and, uh, them just being so into each other for, throughout it, it, it was, <laughs> it made it, it made it great. Even if the song itself, I mean, I don't even know. I mean, I'll have to listen to it. Might, I might like it just on its own merits, uh, if I listen to it again but for the most part i was just sort of excited because it was starlight and trixie singing together uh <laughs> so i don't know but uh yeah this was good this was a fun episode uh not quite on the level of the rare dash one i think that one uh was just perfect but uh i mean not perfect but close uh it being rare dash made it perfect but there were some like weird moments in it if i recall uh, but this, this was good. I mean, maybe the arguing went a little too long, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was still just a worthwhile episode, and, uh, I really enjoyed it. So, uh, yeah, hope you liked the reaction. Let me know if you did, and see you in the next one.